Hello, everyone. I'm now in a small village called Chateau Chalon, near the border of France and Switzerland. This small town is located above a cliff on a hilltop. I came here because it is the center of Jura, a famous French wine region. The Jura region is famous in France and around the world for producing unique yellow wines. The color of the wine is crystal clear yellow. Some people call it gold in a bottle. There are only four regions in France that are allowed to produce yellow wine, and Chateau Chalon is the best among them. Today's video will show an insight into yellow wine production in this small French village. We will see scenes of winemaking process and hear from local professional winemakers, so that everyone can get to know the real art of traditional winemaking. So your hometown is so beautiful town. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so if you want to say something about your hometown to our audience, what you will like to say now? Si j'aurais quelque chose à vous dire, c'est vous êtes les bienvenus parce que ici on est vraiment dans un. Stefan shared with me that. Both his grandfather and father grew grapes here, and were dedicated to making high-quality wines. The atmosphere here is particularly peaceful, and one can sense a good energy field. In the past, this was a very spiritual place, and there were many monasteries here, with many nuns and monks who also contribute. To the development of this unique wine. Unfortunately, these beliefs were destroyed during the French Revolution. After spending some time here, one can sense that area still has a very pure aura. You know, when you are here, uh, you uh, you feel uh, uh, things special.、Uh, there's a kind of power around、mm -hmm. us, and it's very special.、Mm, yes. Yeah, we are、uh, pretty lucky because、oh. of the wind. Oh, there are a lot of wind. We who come out、uh, the valley、oh. and uh, protect uh, the grapes of、oh. the of the disease and uh,、oh. of. Uh, Mushrooms on the on the on on the, on, the, on the top of the grapes, and uh, uh, in general, the, the the grapes are very uh, uh, healthy. I don't know if we can say that, but、uh, there's no problem with the, the grape picking. We have to put the.、Uh, How many years this grape grew? Ah, it's、here? a few, few centuries. Very, very long few, time. Few, few centuries. Century,、yeah. Wow,、mm. a long history. We, on cultive ici depuis à peu près le septième、mm. siècle. Yeah. Entre le cinquième et septième siècle, oui. So it's been around here since the sixth or the seventh century. Wow! So over 1,000 years until now.、Mm -hmm. So if I go to the supermarket, like in Paris, can I find this kind of grape? Mm. No, <laughs> le, mu le muscat, c'est très, très, c'est bien mieux pour manger. <laughs> it's not a very good grape for eating. Yeah,、ah. it's great for making wine, but a grape、ah. like muscat yeah, would muscat be a lot better. Michael, why? What's the reason you come here so far away from America? To here, to learn the winemaking. So、um, before I left the United States, I planted a vineyard of my own、mm -hmm. um, at my house,、uh, with the dream that one day I would make wine as well. And the reason why I chose to come to the Jura is because this is where my favorite wine,、mm -hmm. of all the wine I've ever tried, comes from. Which one? Can you? 
Well, actually, uh, funny you ask because my favorite is uh, the Van Jun, the yellow oh. wine. Biggest difference I see between winemaking in the United States and winemaking in France uh, is that here they have um, thousands of years of tradition. Wow. Uh, like you heard before, they've been making wine in Chateau Chalon for more than a thousand years. Mm -hmm. um, and in the United States, we didn't even have wine making grapes until 200 years ago. So um, that means in the United States, people experiment a lot more, but here there's a tradition that, um, that predates even written, uh, written history about the wine. Switching the... Maybe easy, yeah. Okay, all right. Ready? All right, yeah. Compared with the other place, what do you find here is special to winemaking? So the way François makes wine is very natural. Um, he doesn't put any sulfates in, no chemicals, really like kind of let the wine flow and you kind of are there to like help it flow, which I really love. Um, whereas a lot of other places I've worked in and seen is very kind of like... Um, a lot more intervention. This is very low intervention and I think it's really nice to see the wine speak. I think it's very kind of like, it's very like fine. I'm not sure if that's the right word in English, but it's very like um, soft, but yet super strong and complex. You've got a whole load of different like aromas going on. Um, very, yeah, walnutty, kind of cooked up a little bit. Um, floral, a bit like citrusy. Um, just a whole bunch of, it's like an explosion in your mouth, literally. After the grape juice have been poured into the wooden barrels, it must be stored here for at least six years before it can be bottled. Some winemakers prefer to let the wine age for longer. The yellow wine produced here has a strong aging potential. It is said that the golden yellow color of the wine is formed by a layer of fermentation bacteria produced by the grape during the fermentation process. The taste of gold wine is very similar to that of Spanish sherry. Its aroma is very strong with hints of walnut, elm, and beef vasque aromas. The aftertaste is even stronger. After coming out of the vinery, we lingered in the village for a while and could feel the quiet and fresh atmosphere. As we passed through the narrow stone streets, we could hear the sound of our footsteps. The street lights lit up at dusk with a kind of warmth, and the bells of the church could be heard in the distance, and our heart grew a respect for the land and the people.